Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your August 28th to September 3rd weekly love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we will get started right away. I'm going to take you on down here. Maybe. Get that out of the way. Okay. So Leos, what do we have going on this week? Yes, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And what messages do you have for Leos this week in love? What can I expect? Okay. First card. Oh, ouch. The tower. <laughs> Starting this week off with a bang, Leo. Someone is... Um, Somebody is being forced to let go. Somebody is, as much as they've been trying to fight it, they are um, learning that a relationship is ending. Um, someone's delivering the bad news that they no longer want to be in a relationship. I'm not sure if that's you yet, Leo, or if it's this is happening to you, but... Um, yeah, four of wands in reverse. So yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely a broken home. Uh, the found, the, the tower had to come crashing down because the foundation was broken. It wasn't built on anything solid. Um, as hard as you guys have tried to keep this relationship together, um, this is, uh, this is something that used to be stable and, and uh, loving and nurturing, but now um, somebody is letting you know, Leo, that this no longer is for them. They no longer want to um, be a part of this this relationship. Um, some of you could be losing a home as well. Six of Pentacles. So yeah, there was um, an uneven distribution of energy here. Um, one was giving more than the other. Uh, so it was not a balanced relationship. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Leo, but for a, a group of you, you were the one that was taking too much and you didn't think this person was going to ever leave, but they are letting you know that they're leaving. Now that's not for all you Leos. Um, some of this, this is you're delivering the blow. Um, there could have possibly been another person here that was causing the uh, energy to be stretched too thin as well. Two of Pentacles, yeah. I love this card in the reverse, though, because it's um, it's no longer juggling. It's no longer everything up in the air. You have made a decision. You've made a choice. You've figured out how and where and what and when you need to do to get your life back on track, to get, to get it figured out is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, the king of swords here. So somebody, uh, could be an air sign, doesn't have to be, but they have air sign qualities. So they're cl clear cut, direct to the point. Um, they're cold. They're, uh, this person is being very cold to you is what I'm seeing or you to them. Either way, uh, Leo's, you guys are moving on. You're moving forward single. Um, no longer, uh, no longer settling for less or, or receiving less is what I'm hearing. Um, this is, this was not an easy choice for you, Leo. For some of you, um, it's kind of being forced upon you. I thought I had a flipper in here. Hold on. Maybe not. Um, Either way, you're going to move forward and away from this broken home, this broken relationship. Uh, yeah, and it's going to send you into a time of reflection. You're going to take this breakup and take this time and um, just sit for a while and figure shit out. You're going to um, figure out how to heal from this, what you did wrong, um, what you can do to make yourself better, what... You're really taking um, 
a positive approach to this breakup instead of jumping into a new relationship you're going to um, you're going to just take a step back and allow yourself to heal allow yourself to find the right formula of feelings to be okay again um, some of you could have children uh, an earth sign child um, if not this is uh, yeah for uh, for a lot of you you have children with this person and that's what's making um, this uh, this situation that much more um, more difficult but for the majority of you this is just your new beginning. You're going to take your pinnacle. You're going to, this is the womb of the world. You are going to then move on and create what it is that you want um, from this. So it's act, this tower is actually a blessing in disguise. As much as it hurts, as much as you guys have tried to keep it from falling, um, this is your new beginning. This is your, um, your new chance to make life what you want it. Um, there is some devil energy around here. It could be dealing with a Capricorn, but for the majority of you, this is um, this is a toxic relationship. This is there's uh, for some of you there's addictions involved. For some of you, there's codependencies on each other. Um, but this is toxic. You need to move away from this toxic energy. Um, and the Death card is in reverse here, so. Like I said, you're trying to keep this tower from falling. You're trying to keep this cycle from ending. But no matter how hard you try, it's here. You have to you have to move forward and make the most of it, Leo's. Five of Swords. And that's what you're going to do. You realize that nobody's winning here. The fight is not fair. Because um, nobody wins in battle. Nobody wins at war. Um, so you are taking what you... Um, you have earned, you are moving forward and walking away from this person. Yeah. With the Ace of Pentacles here, it's it's in reverse. So you do have a gift from the universe here. You just have to follow. You have to move forward, um, leave this situation, break free from this toxic energy, allow these cycles to complete. And when you do, you will be well rewarded by the universe in the form of abundance in many ways. Um, just because it's in reverse doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It just means it's not time. Um, once you complete all the steps, you will then get your new beginning, your fresh start. And I do see you will be doing that very soon. In this next week, um, when after this tower falls, um, you're going to... Uh, you're going to um, have a lot of emotional, you're going to have emotional um, like uprising, like ups and downs. You're going to be sad. You're going to be okay with it. You're going to be devastated. You're going to be all right type of thing. But you are quickly going to realize that you have a soulmate here ready for you, ready and waiting that has a lot of feelings and passion and desire for you that you have been so focused on this wrong relationship that you didn't even realize they were here for you, that they were waiting for you to get out of this uh, relationship. So it's not going to take you long um, to uh, get out of this, this mourning phase and realize that you have a whole new passion for the world. You have, uh, you have a new, you, somebody lit a new fire under you and it's going to be kind of a whirlwind there at first. Um, but that's what you have waiting for you when you allow the cycle to end and you move forward and heal. Um, you know, it's the universe's promise that there is a new beginning. Every ending is an, is the chance to have a new beginning. So uh, that's where you guys are at for the week. What can Leos expect this week in love? Let go of control issues. So, um... You know, you can't stop this from happening. All you're doing is making it delay um, and keeping inevitably your two of cups from coming in for you. Because um, like I said, they're waiting in the wings. You don't even realize it yet. Um, yeah, pay attention to the red flags. It was the other one that popped out. So the signs are cautioning you. It's time to go. It's time to move forward. It's time to let 
this relationship end. Um, for some of you, you're not wanting it to. You are the one that the tower is coming down around. For some of you, you are the one delivering the blow. But either way, move forward in a healthy um, way. Allow yourself to heal and allow this chapter to end because you have the power. You have the womb of the earth to create anything you want and desire. And, and when you move forward and let this cycle complete, you have a promise of abundance and a whole new passion for, for life. So, um, take this time to, to heal your heart and, and get ready for, um, the future because you guys have some exciting things coming for you in September. Be watching for my channeled messages for the month of September. They'll be out in the next couple of days, but you guys have some big, big, big things happening in the time of Virgo. So, um, so really just take this time to heal and, um, and I will see you next time. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. As always, I send you love and light.